Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Time for another 3D model metal puzzle. I say that because what I've got here is some people have said a knockoff of a Metal Earth kit. I got this on eBay. They're the same or at least appear to be the same kits that you get through Metal Earth but they come directly from China. And I got three in a package here because I wanted to try them out and see for myself. The first kit that I'm going to start with is one that I've actually already built or at least built the Metal Earth version of. I've built two of them and that's the Millennium Falcon and we have that right here. A nice yellow packaging and a little sticker that says Millennium Falcon. It's very plain and there's more than one they all have the same look to them. They just have a different sticker. So there's no details about what's inside other than what the sticker says. There's some information on the back about the, the tabs and insertion holes. This is the stuff you usually see on the instructions. I want to see how close it is to being the same thing. So I'm going to rip this open and see what's inside. 3D metal model supermodel. There's a supermodel in here. Ooh. Home artwork. Do it yourself. DIY. Funny gifts. Assembly model. Original design. And on the back. Made in China. Supermodel. What does that say? Simple instructions. 3D metal works model in tiny little white letters on yellow background. Snapshots, fold, angle, folding line, insertion port. Insert tab and bend 90 degrees for most visible areas. Insert tab and twist 90 degrees is best in some areas to ensure a tight connection. Let's tear it open. These actually have a bull tab, which works great. It's wonderful. Look at that. Look at, how, look at that pull tab work. That just made it more complicated. And inside, snugly attached. We have instructions and metal sheets. Are these it? plastic? Oh. Yeah, it's some kind of plastic sheeting. How bizarre. Check that out. I'm going to get the other side off. So these definitely look duller. They don't have as much shine. As far as the thickness and sturdiness of it, kind of hard to say. Now I do have somewhat of a comparison. I've already built two of these guys and I still have one, the remainder of one. And while it has most of the parts trimmed off, you can kind of see the parts appear to be the same. All the parts that are missing out of the one line up with the other pretty well. But you can see probably pretty well the difference in in shine. This is a much this is the metal earth and it's got a very bright mirror shine. You can see you can see the light in the ceiling and this while reflective is just duller. It just doesn't have quite the shine. Doesn't have quite the shine the other. Another thing that I'm curious about is I have these little doodads here. They're magnets. I use these from time to time to hold on to small parts so I don't knock them off and lose them. 
or to keep them separated but the little magnet push pins for magnet boards and they stick to the metal earth kits and I wonder how was that going to work on these there's a big answer right there this guy picks it up this is obviously not the same metal this metal is not magnetic so it's maybe some kind of aluminum perhaps which would make sense with the duller coat to it aluminum doesn't usually have a bright shine this is the top half of the instructions that came with the 3D metal model supermodel and these are the instructions that came with the actual metal earth kit of course you can see there side by side they're very similar same little graphic here there's no code obviously different wording this is similar but not quite the same get your needle nose pliers that's in most every if not every kit and the layout which looks to be the same these sheets the um, layout of the sheets are almost completely identical aside from one being smaller and not yellow <laughs> the only difference I see is they move the three from down there to over here so it's it's a copy and if we look at step one it looks to be the same thing so it's not a different kit it's just a lower quality cheap knockoff from overseas I picked up the Falcon as well as the others because I've done the Falcon and I while I don't have an unbuilt kit to compare it to still get a lot of information just from this tree or or leftover bit you can compare it to the metals and see that it's definitely different compare the instructions you can see that there it's a copy and I have also the five tower as it's called and I'm not sure how to pronounce it honestly I mean G Joe it's a castle and it's one of the ones that was requested and I thought I will get it cheap and see if it's worth taking the time to build. I don't know that I will after seeing the Millennium Falcon. Cram it in there quite tightly. We have the same situation, two sheets with some rather annoying to peel off plastic film. I'm kind of guessing that's to give it some stability and and extra protection from being warped and bent and very similar instructions it's the same same idea a big surprise there you kind of see the picture of the castle here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and build a falcon in this 3D metal model and compare it built to the other Falcon. This one I don't think I seen in Metal Earth lineup. It, it's not called the Five Tower there. You can't recall what it's called. Hey, look, that one actually worked. How to get it out? There we go. As in they're just too damn tight. And this one has two sheets. I um, didn't initially think that was two because they were stuck together so well. But the same black and white instructions. There's no back. This on the packaging that I have torn to shreds just says the five tower but it's listed it was listed as the five-story Pagoda DIY Nano 
metallic 3D laser cut jigsaw puzzle metal model toys. And is that going to come up? That's what it looked like on eBay. I took two or three hours and went ahead and built the Millennium Falcon kit. Everything came together just the same. The same instructions, the same bends, the same folds. The metal behaved very much the same as the Metal Earth kit. No noticeable differences, really. The end product had just as much detail as the Metal Earth kit. It just had a duller shine to it. In the beginning of this video, I kind of joked about Metal Earth kits being a copy of the ones that I got, and that's definitely a joke. These models are obviously copies. They're pretty good copies as far as the detail on the sheets themselves. The assembly for the Millennium Falcon was identical to that of the Metal Earth kit. There are other companies that make models, make these little metal model type kits. I think there's Tenyo, there's Peace Cool. You can kind of do a Google search for those. As far as the kits that I got, they were three or four dollars off of eBay. And I can put a link to the Millennium Falcon one down below just so you can see I don't know the company behind it. All I can tell you for sure is the seller that I got it from. So I'm sure there's other copies out there. There's no telling if you're going to get one as, as decent as this one. Because this one isn't too bad. I will say the big things that stand out to me. Number one, the finish is dull. It doesn't have that bright, shiny mirror finish. It is shiny, but it's just a little bit dull. And I think that's probably whatever metal it's made out of. I'm guessing aluminum or some sort of alloy that does not include a magnetic metal. I can't say for sure. Another really big thing that stood out to me is on the sheets where I would normally clip out the tabs that hold the parts in there, there was less room. Everything seemed to be identical except for that. And that was very annoying because I do much prefer to use the clippers and my clippers weren't quite fitting and I had to really fight and struggle to get them in there. And I found myself getting one or two clipped and then twisting and bending to get the rest of them, which is kind of funny because when I first did the Millennium Falcon, I didn't have clippers and I couldn't find anything. It was the first time I'd ever done it. I didn't even know to find anything to, to clip them out. And I've come a long way since then and I much prefer the clippers, but I found myself kind of building it a little bit like the first. Another annoying thing is the sticky plastic that's on. It's not really sticky once you get it off, but it's hard to peel off. And that was kind of weird and annoying. Would I buy these over the Metal Earth kits? No, not really. I'll continue to get the Metal Earth kits. I can see one situation where getting one of these kits might be helpful if you're worried about the complexity of a kit. If you've not done these kits before, if you're not sure you can do it, or you think it's going to take two kits, you could consider buying one of the cheap knockoffs, possibly, and building it. And if that comes out well, then go drop the money on the Metal Earth kits. Because they're not terribly expensive, but they are pricier. Now that's not to say that the model that you want to build is available in a copy. And that's also not to say that the copy you get is going to be as close to the original as mine. Who knows? So that's a risk. That's the only reason I can see to get one of these is to give it a practice shot for just a few bucks before buying the actual kit. But if it's something that difficult, after I build it once, I kind of don't want to build it again. And I'd rather have it... I, I've been in situations where I built the first kit and something broke or something went wrong and I had the kit half built. So I went and bought a second one and just finished with the missing parts. I didn't start completely over if I didn't have to. And I wouldn't want to mix cheap kit and metal earth kit when the parts aren't quite the same. But that's just a sample of one of the knockoffs you can get if it's way less than the normal price of a metal earth kit and if it comes from China beware. There's really no telling what you're going to get so careful. If you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below. If there's a model you're dying for me to build let me know. I've gotten a few requests. I'm working on it. I've got so many different models to build and, and never enough time. Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.